and welcome to an inbox review of this kit from Airfix, a vintage classic, the Hanley Page Jetstream in 170 setting scale. Uh, the kit serial number is A03012V for Vintage. Uh, when you look at the side, there's some warnings on here, uh, not suitable for kids under 36 months. And it's made by Hoynby Hobbies Limited. The tooling is from 1969, and so is the illustration. But this is, was made in uh, 2019 in India, and the cartograph uh, transfers. Okay, so on the box, you get this, on the side, you get the same. Uh, there's only one marking in this kit, which is this from the United States Air Force and apparently there's 94 pieces in it you get one flying hour tells you which color paints you need not many so let's have a look see what's in it One bag of oh, the old style uh, tooling instructions, big box for this kit. Okay. So you get some history on the on the page jet stream there. Oh, oh. Classic uh, instructions. And you make the cockpit first, put all the stuff inside the fuselage. They look like stretches, to be honest. Are they? I don't know, does somebody know? Um, then you make the engines with the props, put the wings on, tailplanes, all the gubbins underneath. You can have the air, uh, you can have it with the steps down. Yeah, that'll be interesting. And um, like I said before, one marking instruction, one markings for United, the United States Air Force a jet stream 3M slash C dash 10A. Okay. Uh, have a look at the transfers. There's not many. But they look really well printed. So I can't see them giving you any bother. Just soak them in water for a bit and put them on. And what's in the back? What's in the back? piece dropped off there. Eh? Right, so clear parts are in a separate bag. I bet they weren't when it first came out. So, uh, as you can see, these look pretty thick. You got uh, the windows for the side of the fuselage. They've all got sink marks in. So I might be using clear fix or something like that to create the windows. Uh, I think they're landing lights. So not very good. At least, um, they're, well, they're not even well defined. But you can mask them, no problem. You know, the uh, cockpit canopy, windscreen, whatever you want to call it. So I'll put that back in there. Plastic, so 
This is the you know the hard grey pl uh, plastic that Airfix use for the classics. Why don't they use this stuff for the normal for the newer kits? Because I like this type of plastic. Anyway, but it's all raised detail. You, know, you can hear it. Uh, it's quite nice. Two fuse large halves. Not going to be able to get them to go together with those big uh, sprue gates underneath. But anyway, so you've got a rough size, rough idea of the size of the aircraft. And yeah, so I, those windows, I think, you know, be easy to make them out of a clear fix, I think. And then you've got the next sprue as the lower wing. No detail except for where the aileron should be and the flaps. And I've got the uh, part numbers on in, inside 47, 49. Well, oh, that's the upper wing. Where is it? I don't know. That's the, lo there is, that's the lower wing. Must be the upper wing, that. What well, must be upper, the upper wing. And this is the lower wing. This does have some detail. Uh, all raised rivets all along the wings there. Again, um, the tail planes, seat, wheels, well, the prop hubs, but uh, yeah, no detail, just uh, raised lines where the You know, the flaps, I mean the uh, ailerons go. The wheels have got a little bit of detail on them. And there's the other nose cone for the propeller. So I've got another chair and that looks like an undercarriage leg. Yep. And looks like they'll be, need some clean up. It's like part of the engines. Don't know what they are, but they're very small. <laughs> uh, if they're the stirs, they're not too bad. But if you put them on that way, there's whacking uh, eject pin light. So hopefully, it's, you put them that way. That's the uh, cargo uh, bay door. More stuff for the interior. No detail on the firewalls, except uh, sink mics and eject pin mics. Uh, they do look like stretchers to me. And you got some seats there with the on with their eject pin mics in. More on the carriage parts. So it is really make of it, isn't it? It's a vintage kit. They things wear it. 70s, 60s and 70s and I think they're for more for the um, stretches you've got your propellers here a couple of crewmen pilot, co-pilot and yeah and that's about it so there you have it, the Hamley Page Jetstream from 1969, 1969, I was 13, anyway, apparently uh, this aircraft bankrupt to uh, Hamley Page, but that's what uh, it says on here, anyway, so there you have it. So if you got this far, hope you like the video. Uh, let me know what you think about the kit. 
do you, you know do you agree with Hornby? Uh, keep releasing these old kits as vintage classics. I've only bought this one because I fancied it and uh, I've never built it when I was a kid, that's all. Um, so uh, this is Stevie D uh, signing off for now. See you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio and bye for now.